I can't carry it for you. But I can carry you! Come on! Hey guys, it's Valkyrie. So on this episode of Secrets to Carrion Games, I'm going to walk you through the steps I would take to try and consistently steal Baron as a non-jungling champion. And so far I've been incredibly lucky to an extent, and also fortunate enough to have a lot of opportunities to start, try to steal Baron as a non-jungling champion. And for the most part I've been very successful. I've been able to succeed more times than not when I do this strategy, and I'll walk you through what exactly I do. So first off, let me set the scene of what's going on. My positioning, I'm behind Baron. Baron's below 50% HP. Look at the minimap. Our Vi is really far back and my team is trailing all the way back to the base. The main thing you get out of that is my team won't be here in time before Baron goes down. So as a mid laner, I can't just zone them off Baron because it's going down too quickly. I can't just kill their jungler because I'll most likely die afterwards. So my main goal here needs to be me stealing Baron. And I'll walk you through exactly how I would do this because I, I was playing this game. And, uh, and how I would translate these type of strategies to future games. Okay, so I'm AP Tristana. I'm moving to this side of Baron and I'll explain why. And you definitely want to be more on this side of Baron than on this side. And that's because... Players, for whatever reason, just really suck at warding this bush. Now, and to, to ward this bush, you have to aim about right there with your cursor, and sometimes you hover a little bit more to the right, sometimes to the left, but you got to get it perfect, and it'll be in that bush. Otherwise, you'll do some scar wards, and it'll be there or there, and players just don't want to look stupid, so they don't even try to ward that bush. Um, the other reason is it's just so much easier to ward this side since there's a bush right there, and uh, you can just chug it, you know, throw it over the wall. But for the most part, if, if they only have one ward there, um, you can kind of sneak off to this side and be out of their vision. And that's the first step and the most important part is you don't want them to know that you're there. And in this particular case, they did have a ward in this bush, but they did not have vision of this whole area leading up to here. Um, and I'm going to use that to my advantage. So let me slow it down and play it from here. So I'm moving in position to maintain being unseen by the enemy team because I don't want them to know I'm going to attempt to steal this. I'm in the fog of war right now to the enemy team, and Baron is getting very, very low. But you don't want to jump the gun yet. You have to be very patient on this uh, type of situation. So what I'm going to do, and you have to make these judgment calls very quickly, but I'll slow it down and take you through it. You have to be able to combine one to two to three abilities together in quick succession to create enough of a burst potential to either outsmite Baron or to throw the damage off before it gets in, into smite range enough for someone like your jungler can come steal it or something like that. But the most consistent way to steal Baron, obviously, is if you're on a champion that has enough burst damage with a combination of your abilities to do more damage than smite, which isn't that hard. Um, the old Gragas could uh, very easily steal Baron by comboing his barrel, like the old Gragas could throw his Q barrel over the wall, let it sit um, on Baron or something like that, and then like right when Baron gets almost in smite range, the Gragas could then lob his ultimate over, and as soon as his ultimate's about to hit, he would just combo it, and it would equal in a dead Baron. And most of the time, you would have to just completely stop doing Baron because there were certain champions that could just simply out-damage smite. AP Tristana, when you're fed enough, can absolutely outdamage Smite. Let's talk about the burst damage I can do in this game. I was very fed. My ultimate and W together can do about 2,000 damage. So that's more damage than Smite, but um, singly my ultimate will do more damage than Smite. But you have to keep in mind that when an entire team is hitting Baron, it's very difficult to use your abilities exactly the moment it hits that threshold. Like, exactly when it's in smite range, smite. It's very difficult for a jungler to be able to do that. Oftentimes, they smite slightly early or slightly late, and it gives you a very small window of opportunity to steal Baron. So, this is what I would do. Because my damage threshold will do about 2,000 damage, Baron has quite a bit of magic resist. Once Baron hits that threshold pre magic resist or pre armor of your combo, 
that's the moment you want to start getting in position to steal Baron. Like, actually f start flashing into the pit or use your ability to get into the pit. Um, but you need to j also judge how much damage the enemy team is doing to kind of estimate exactly when you need to go in. And because they were doing so much damage to it, I chose the moment to go exactly when it reached that threshold, um, about the 2,000 mark. 2,000, I see 2,000, I start the jump as soon as I see the 2,000 mark, and then it pops down to 1,200. So as you can see, they've got a ton of damage. Zingy is playing Karthus Jungle, very, very good at burning down Baron. So I knew I needed to go a little bit early um, because of how much damage they had. As I'm in midair, I'm in midair right now over the Baron. So I, I've got about half the duration left to land. Baron is at 990 HP, and Karthus' smite will do 850. His smite is up. Um, I'm very, very close to landing on Baron right now. This is the moment where I use my ultimate. And I probably could have jumped into the pit a little bit sooner, but I slightly miscalculated how much burst they had on Baron. They were doing it very, very quickly. But as you can see, I'm trying to combo my ultimate with my W so they hit almost at the same exact moment. Bam, they hit at the very exact same moment. So it was a perfect execution of getting my abilities off, but I probably could have started getting into the pit a little bit sooner. Once you're in the pit after possibly stealing Baron or failing, you need to either take someone with you in terms of death, or try to get out of the pit as soon as possible. When I was playing AP Tristana, because we got a kill, I was able to get the reset, the Karthus was going for me, so I jumped out of the pit. So the main things to go over in this Baron steal was the fact that I was patient about going in as well as the fact that I knew that I needed to be out of vision coverage of them. And I'll just do it in the full duration right now to show you guys how quickly it looked um, and because you have very little time to react in these type of situations. <laughs> 